Hello, Collective Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We are going to pop into your next 48 hours. The number four just stuck out very significantly, um, even though I haven't even been talking for a minute. I'm hearing it's game day. I'm also feeling for somebody here, like, listen, honey, like, your your energy is so ironclad. Wow, okay. Well, maybe I should watch Brave. Your energy is so ironclad this next 48 hours. The spell work, I feel like somebody is just doing a lot of spell work against your garden. Um, oh, some of you guys could be itching. Okay, maybe there's something significant about skin. Um, y'all, and I'm gonna tell y'all this because real time. Wait, hold on. So y'all remember in Harry Potter how um the lady in the pink. I don't remember her name. Uh when I must not tell lies. Like, you know, it's like I I feel like there's spirits that are trying to torment you. Um, and, or these are modern spirits. So it's just like, or when too many people, I feel like when too many of the not right spirited or sold or like they're of entities and beings have their eyes on you, collective fire. I feel like you just start itching or there's something just itchy or your skin could be changing. You could be going through a cellular regeneration process they could be like literally shedding old skin, right? You know, I know spiritually or metaphysically, or I don't really like saying spiritually, it sounds kind of like crystals. And this seems more occult, occult, esoteric. There we go. It seems more esoteric. But here with the moon and the nine of pentacles, I feel like someone here, there's seeds and there's plenty of them. Seeds that you've been watering. I mean, I know that this, you know, this is just like a kind of like, all oh, like everything reading next 48 hours so maybe some of you guys you're in relationships union marriages maybe your boo has been planting their seed and they feel like it hasn't been watering or maybe they haven't been planting. i don't know there's something about planting seeds is significant and it's not just things that you're growing in the ground okay but here with the moon i feel like the the energy of the moon brings out this this mystery this wit this intuition this also even deception i feel like someone here you it's not like you want to see the bad in people but you just see it and you can't help it like it's it's there but it's information that is being given to you from either your future self your higher self the quantum realms the whatever you believe in i i've watched enough loki to kind of <laughs> To kind of believe that when people say 5D and 12D, they're limiting themselves. Okay. Um, there's something about not limiting your energy here. The next 48 hours, I kind of feel like some of y'all are going to be like, uh, let me rephrase that. Because I don't think that's a, I think that's a law of attraction thing. And there's something very about like, you want to win, but you also want the right people that connect with you to win. So you could maybe be, have a platform like, honey, if you have 500 followers or more, you have a platform. <laughs> I had to like tell myself this because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I, I, I could go down the list of things that is not right in my universe right now, but I also see what it's teaching me. I also see what's, what it's instilling in me. But then at the same time, the nine of pentacles is requiring things to move faster. So this could be an extra money. This could be a bonus. Okay. This could be you doing what you want. You want, I cannot emphasize this enough. Somebody out here, King of Wands, your spirit team is ready to burn down the everything to get you what you want. Your future self, they're ready to burn down some of y'all exes too, but y'all being problematic. Um, The king of wands is that visionary energy. Like he's like, look, I have a vision and I'm willing to take all the risks necessary in order to bring that vision into these realms. Someone here, you don't just, if you are, because the king of pentacles, if you are an energy worker, a root worker, if you do any type of, you're not just hitting, Um, I, I don't know, I mean, it makes people mad. I don't really care today. You're not just hitting heaven or hell or the 3D or the 5D or the 12D or whatever you believe in. You, there, you, if you're here in this reading, you have to watch Loki. You have to watch Loki high if you do that. Um, maybe even a little Riesling, okay? Like I'm, I'm thinking like the alcohol volume, like 8% or less. It's something about 
if you if that's your thing, I don't want nobody to go do anything that's not their thing. Like for me, hard liquor is not my thing. And I am very proud of the fact that I was able to quit it cold turkey. But then I also was not proud of the fact that I let this seven of swords like thieves in the camp. Right. Monitoring spirits, you know, somebody trying to keep tabs on you in the spiritual realm, somebody trying to get in your head, get in the head, get in your head to make you feel like you're not lucky. You're not abundant. You're not prosperous. You're not capable because sometimes it ain't even about all these like new agey words, you guys. I think sometimes it literally just boils down to the fact that the Seven of Swords is some entity, some spirit being, or it could be conversations that you're having with other people, right? Or conversations that you've had with other people in certain places that's getting in your head to make you feel like you you're you're trapped, you're stuck. Two of sevens. I'm not telling you. Um there's something about lucky money or surprise money or donations. Um, I, I was talking about this in Collective Air. Like, I feel like people kind of want to know, like, if I am giving this person my money, like, what are they doing with it? And it's interesting. I'm very interested with y'all. Here's the sun. So you could be in entertainment. You could be um, maybe a vlogger. You could blog. I'm trying to think of more entertainment things like art. It Like, I feel like someone here, like, what you want to do with your career, your life's work literally involves you requiring other people's money, right? Very eighth house thing, or just requiring cash resources and tools, um, income, your own income, five, five, five to better yourself. Leo, uh, Leo, strong first house, fifth house, Leo, Aquarius energy. I feel like someone here, um, you are an entrepreneur. Like if you're managing multiple things, you're already an entrepreneur. I feel like someone here, maybe you want to delegate, maybe you want to give tasks to other people, but it's something very sacred and something very like two kings, like major authority. Like some of y'all like in past lives, some of you guys need to summon pa your past life energy. Cause I find, and it's been a while since I've been in that vein. I find that sometimes astrologers, um, I've most more so heard this in astrology tell you like, Oh, whatever your, your past life or something, like this is what you need to move to towards your life, this lifetime. And I think I talked about this in another reading, like, no, you need to move towards if some of you guys feel the energy of fame, as fucked up as it is and as scary as it is, like needing to post more, needing to put yourself out there, optimizing your LinkedIn with chat GPT. There y'all go. That's how I optimize my LinkedIn. What am I getting from that? Just eyes. <laughs> honestly, eyes. And honestly, like a lot of connections that's making me see that okay, I'm not building something. Um, the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles, they don't just, and honestly, ain't nobody doing no spell work on what you're building if it's, if it's not supposed to pop, if it's not supposed to be successful, if you're not supposed to be like a big name. I'm hearing Grammys. Oh, I'm hearing Grammys, honey. Okay, Grammys. I'm hearing contracts. Maybe someone's getting it. I'm feeling like maybe a mother. Oh, high priestess, yeah. Why am I saying mother? Oh, mom, <laughs> something worth me. Um, Guadalupe may be significant here. Uh, Mary Magdalene may be significant here for somebody. I feel like somebody here, you feel like breaking the generational curses means that you will not benefit or profit. It would only be those that come after you. And I feel like that's that seven of swords. Um, I also feel like it's it, it could be somebody that's just, very just there's somebody here 1818 you got a lot I, I know some people say like oh we're not gonna focus on the haters we're not gonna focus on the enemies i get that however when you know somebody especially depending on what industry you in what line of work you're trying to do um i think we've watched enough movies and tv shows to know that it could be the people's closest to you trying to undermine you or trying to underhand you um there was that episode of queen of south where um, but Essa found out that her account, I think it was her accountant. I forget the other girl. I forget the, 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 uh, the white girl that, uh, she kicked out the camp cause she was, you know, but she, she just had, she got caught up by the, what they call it, booger sugar. <laughs> she got caught up. Okay. 
but she her intentions were still the same for um for Teresa's safety. Maybe some of you guys are watching The Queen of South. Maybe you listen to that song. I listen to that too every time I need to feel like a badass. However, it's just something like you you see this collective fire before you have to deal with it. So it could be that you're working on, you know, a lot of projects on your own. It could be that this high priestess is telling you like, hey, you know, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it's training time. It's training season. You know, this high priestess could be you working, um, I, I would say by yourself or maybe with one other trusted person, um, because I am seeing the King of Pentacles or because I did see that this could be a family business within a family unit. There's something very significant about real estate, but I feel like it's like investing. Like I feel like someone here, um, if you have children with special needs, neurodivergence, autism, anything, um, all these names that they say, I, what I've been learning over the last few days, sometimes it's not necessarily about forcing them into our world, but creating a new world for them. Maybe some of you guys are doing that, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you are creating new worlds, right, for yourself, for your family, for your children, for other people. Like, because this feels like very, very big, impactful energy. I feel like someone here, you put out, every project you put out is healing. Every project you put out is a financially stable um, anchor or moment. However, you may not be seeing that. Maybe your boo's not seeing that because this is I'm using this deck. I feel like Four of Pentacles, a lot of career building. I feel like um, I, I'm going to say something that may make some people mad, but I just, you know, I, I would kind of like to get out of the situation I'm in. So maybe I do need to make some people mad. Maybe there's something here in terms of not appealing towards everybody's lights, but the seven of pentacles and the king of wands, seeing the king of wands again here from a second deck. I feel like someone here, if you are in a relationship with your marriage, 11, 11, I feel like you're going after things from your broken space. I feel like you're going after things from when you were doubtful or not healing in love. Um, maybe you're around somebody that her around people that don't want to be in relationships. They don't want to be married. Um, Maybe you're around people that they're they're fine by themselves. Like I feel very messy energy too. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you got to wash ourselves, okay? Um, trust that gut, solar plexus activation and healing for you guys. All right, eleven forty four. But it's 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 like someone here. It's like you're wanting to pursue careers or opportunities or avenues as if you're not happy. And I feel like. This next 48 hours, particularly what's happening in your love life or the self-love department, I feel like you're going to see with your physical eye, um, your healing physical eyes, just in case a bitch tries it today, that you are happy. You know what happiness is. You know what this comfort feels like. Or you've seen it. You you It's wands. You felt it. Or maybe somebody, you know, it is wands. Okay. Um, I feel like you're passionate about something so lucrative. And I don't just mean like from a cash, th I mean like finances. I feel like someone's like credit score changing. Like maybe you filed someone here recently filed bankruptcy. I mean, honey, y'all going to start seeing a lot of, a lot of companies and corporations file bankruptcy, but it's going to be a lot of bankruptcy filings. But think about it. That is, we're only going to see the corporations on the news as far as the people that, okay, we find that out through social media. Um, I feel like someone here clearing out your student loan debt or paying your student loan debt. I feel like, I, I, I think I talked about this before as a first generation college student, how I kind of got into this horrible financial cycle of letting the U.S. Department of Education like be my parent. And what has come from that, I am truly grateful for. However, it also has created a financial wound that I know is going to take like probably about a good 2000 money readings to, <laughs> to heal. Um, but yeah, or it's just, or you're creating, um, or maybe someone here, how you're he healing your money wounds or your healing spiritual wounds here with this four of pentacles, seven of pentacles is through love is through creation is through listening to your spirit. Uh, there's, there's careers. I feel like there's hobbies, there's passion projects, like this planet is full of so much opportunity 
And and I feel like someone here, yes, it's it, it's a party going on, right? Tornadoes or like destruct, but it's like you, someone here, you have to remember. Maybe I'm talking to millennial, and I think I talked about this in another reading, you guys, like how we were watching, like kind of what was happening in 9-11. And I didn't even I learned um I was today years old or three days years old, yes, three days ago. When I learned that there was another World Trade Center, to, I did that was something I didn't know. I didn't know that there was one before 9-11 because it they just made it seem like 9-11 was the only one. And I'm not really into that avenue of politics. I'm more of an MSNBC girl, CNBC. I like when the elections come. Like that's, I don't know. There's something about the elections that really just... <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone here is going to be a campaign manager. Maybe you're going to be working or connecting with people like in politics or law or representatives. Maybe you already are. I don't know. This just feels like a very rich reading. I honestly don't want to leave and close it out, but I'm just, I feel like you're acquiring new things from old places. Ooh. Next 48 hours. Yeah, it's a lot of anxiety, but I feel like some of this anxiety is self-inflicted. Um... Aries Leo Sagittarius, but then I feel like a good portion, uh, maybe 93% of it is spell work. Um, and if anybody is telling you that there's no spell work happening or, or you, everything is okay and somebody is going to take care of it, I, that never sat right with me. Even I probably used to say, I don't remember. I took those readings down um, for, I didn't take them down. I think some of them are on Gumroad. I did take some of them down, but I can just say real time, like holding myself accountable. That was something that just did not sit right with me. Just hearing like, oh, your angels will take care of it. Like, just pray. Um, and I've said publicly on these people's internet before, some of my scariest dreams was when I was going to church, when I was under a church. And I'm not bashing churches. It's actually a church I want to pop in and just, they ain't going to let me in, y'all. <laughs> they are like, what are you doing here? They is not going to let me in. Uh, I just want to go in and just, just, just draw. Okay. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, but it's just, just find yourself, free yourself. Um, there's something very, I don't know, like who watches my readings. I don't know who listens. Yeah. Like my spirits team be telling me, but I'm not like for like the clout and the fame. Like I just be trying to stay alive. Like I've been learning a lot of things about names and ancestral energies and blood and bodily fluids and getting my hands dirty and my spirit team telling me like, when we told you this is, this is the length that you would go to, to protect your spouse, your future spouse, yourself, your future self. Sometimes we're doing things to protect our future self. Y'all watch Charm. Remember, you know, um, uh, Piper's kids was mad. <laughs> they had to come. Like, Ma, get it together. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you're just releasing, chasing things from the broken spaces of you. And if you feel like you've never been broken, then um, your Chiron must be in a very interesting placement. Um but we all have that wounded healer in our chart for a reason. So I feel like just Chiron's energy is very profound this next 48 hours to heal and grow and change you, Aries Leo Sagittarius, because you deserve it. And I feel like you deserve a win. You deserve win after win after win after win, but not from a place of inflating your um your unconscious, your ego or super ego or ID, because there's not just it's more than just one word, you guys. But giving you that win to give you that fire, to give you that energy to be like, I I can do this. I can keep doing this. So like, don't don't push it. Like if you listen, especially if you're watching me and you're not 18, okay, don't push away that feeling like, you know, maybe these friends, I ain't got to hang out with them this season. Or maybe I don't have to really, you know, talk to them as much. Or maybe I got to change up who I'm talking to, who I'm playing with, who I'm dating, like who I'm conversating with, like change where I'm spending my money, like where I'm shopping, you guys. Like I just, I love Walmart. This is not sponsored, but like just me and Walmart for life. I pay attention to the companies 
that I, I'm, let me help somebody out here because I feel like sometimes when you want better for yourself in business, entrepreneur, like whatever, like finances, career, people try to make you feel like, oh, capitalism, you, the fuck is capitalism been here? They're just gonna find a way to reinvent it. I feel like somebody here, like, pay attention to the brands and the corporations that were there for your highs and lows. And when I say there, meaning like you felt comfortable going there, you felt sh- comfortable shopping there. Um, I feel like someone here, like, twenty dollars is changing your life. Twenty dollars is something about twenty dollars is changing your life. Collective fire. This next. And I feel like someone here, you're looking for the end result, which I understand, but I feel like your spirit team wants you to activate the magic at the point of decision. So this could be launching the business, launching the product, continuing, you know, releasing projects that's just this draining that don't make sense. Yeah. Listen to your inner wisdom because you were boss. We are a god. Your God and your goddess. So go be that. Okay? Call back your money from your childhood because you done been around some fucked up people. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last.